Danny Flexen here for seconds out. Delighted to be joined by the former WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Gavin Reese, now trainer. Gavin, how are you doing? Yes, I'm very good, thanks. Uh, good to be here today and, um, in London, amateur boxing, so all good. You now train uh, Brandon Scott, among many other fighters. He's a late addition to the Joshua Hellenius card at the weekend. How did things get started between yourself and Brandon, who's, let's face it, a, quite of a different character to what we remember from you? Yeah, we coached him about, well, he was in lockdown about two and a half years ago with uh, one of uh, the pros, Manuel Lee. Uh, he actually stopped boxing at the time of the COVID and he gave up the sport to go to MMA. Uh, trained a few times on the pads and just, he, uh, he said he retired but he never went back and so he didn't want to go back to the amateur so he joined the gym and then we went pro. What was it about him that attracted you? Why was he someone you wanted to take on? I uh, would see the talent straight away, like say he quit. And, he, and the boys uh, got such fast hands, good combinations, great footwork and uh, we don't see it all the time. I said, you're too good at equipment to be honest with you. He said, oh, I fell out of love with the sports. He just kept on the gym with Manu and the other pros. He said, oh, I'll tell you why I want to go pro. So we turned him pro. We are literally with Elite then. I've uh, done a few shows now. Match, it took Matchroom's eye. So it's time with Matchroom now. One of the biggest companies in, uh, in the world. So a br brilliant platform for him. He's clearly a talented fighter, but one of the biggest things that's got him the contract and the notoriety he's got is some of the stunts he pulls, Spider-Man costume and some of the other stuff. What do you make of that? Do you have any input on it? No, I have no impact on that whatsoever. That's all his own doing. No, his dad's doing it, laughing in the background. That's just Brandon. He knows um, he's his own character, but he's a lot better boxing. He's a comedian, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you wish you'd have done any of that sort of stuff in your career, like a bit of, bit of publicity and all that? Oh, you could, you could probably, like, you nearly got three, five, three million views on, it, on that video yesterday. I think it's um, 2.8 million views. It's, it beats even AJ on the show, you know, we're getting views on anyone. So uh, he's doing fantastic on M terms now. But all he's got to do is turn up Saturday and put on a performance to match um, to match the antics outside the gym, and I, I'm sure you will. What's it been like for you and, and uh, Brandon with Dillian White's obviously being ruled off the card, them looking for a new opponent? There was a period where no one knew if the show was definitely going ahead. What was that like for you guys? Well, he's been all in Magaluf with his family, and uh, we only got told last Wednesday when he was there. We were told to keep it a secret, and they would announce it Saturday. I woke up Saturday morning waiting for the news, and all, all over the Twitter, and it, oh, yeah, the, the show might be off, and I was like, oh, bloody hell. So we didn't really know what was happening then until, uh, until everyone else knew on Monday. So he was on all, he don't drink, he don't eat shit, and he was on, only walking around uh, two, three kilos of weight, which was a blessing. So if he was uh, a young, normal 18-year-old, 19-year-old drinking, he wouldn't be on the show. So he showed his dedication and committed to the sport. And he's able to take this fight on a week's notice, which is amazing. What do you make of the whole Dillian White situation? I know the facts at the moment are available quite limited, but what, what was your reaction when you heard? Oh, well, like I say, um, it's the third time now, I think, so if it is the third time, it's proven to be taken, you know. It's not, it should be have a life ban for something like that, you know. Especially when they're taking stuff like steroids and um, you're still competing in boxing, you're just not on, to be honest, you're fighting for someone's life. So if he is get proven, he should be out of the sport. And what do you make of Hellenius as a substitute opponent, given the short notice? Oh, they got a lot of stick, but then, no matter who they would have got. Unless it was someone like Fury, which was yeah, never going to happen. Yeah. They was going to get stick, so. It was all talk about Chisora and all these other men, they were saying no, no, no. But they were never going to keep the public happy. Same as a lot of Brandon got a lot of criticism, you're never going to keep everyone happy. As long as you're keeping yourself happy, that's the main. And I think it's a credible opponent, you know, it's at a week's notice. And she'll be a good show Saturday night, they save a show. And I hope uh, all the fans tune in and have a good night. Now we have to talk a little bit about the transformation because you won your world title at what 10 stone and you competed for the majority of your career at 9-9 nine, nine or even 9-4 you were a super feather at one point. The absolute size of you now and there's not one ounce of fat. Well, what's gone on since you've retired? Uh, well I still in the gym. Um, actually when I boxed I thought you know I love drinking. Um, didn't like training a lot and I know I've retired and all ass backwards. I uh, stopped drinking. You know I own a pub and I'm not training every day. <laughs> it's six days a week uh, sometimes twice a day. Done, done all backwards but you know i um, succeeded in a lot of ways. I've done very well in boxing, won all the belts. And I'm doing very good now in the gym, so life's good. Come, I can, can't follow when you, when you make mistakes, can't look back with regret. So I'm in a good place right now, so that's the main thing. Do you still get recognised like, on the street and stuff where you live? Yeah, of course, all the time here back home, yeah. Uh, mental after, I've been retired here 10 years now, people are recognise me everywhere. But there's not been that many world champions given the size of the country and so on, and, and you won one that was, wasn't even your natural weight. I won a title in 1997. He's only been um, three more for since, so, so no, hopefully I'll get a couple out of my gym now with a bit of luck. You know, and it takes a lot of luck and a lot of dedication and commitment. That more than anything else. Brilliant. Gavin, really appreciate the time, mate, and yeah, best of luck with Brandon on Saturday. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.